even by UFC Royal Division standards, Sergei Pavlovich is a unique finisher. Good at Congress. Oh! Spit go flying at me and Oh, good no, Pavlovich. With 14 out of 17 wins coming by way of first round knockouts, he's unceremoniously broken into the Octagon's elite. Oh! Oh! Big hand! The last test before the title shot is soon to come for the Russian sledgehammer. It's the perfect moment to recognize the destructive power of one of the most promising heavyweights on the planet. <laughs> Pavlovich began as a Greco-Roman wrestler, then gained success in combat sambo, before making his MMA debut in December 2014. Five months and two quick wins later, he ran into Ilya Skondrich. The Slovakian vet boldly went to the center for an exchange. Oh, 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 oh. And was left worse for wear. Oh, Toraleva! Sergei fired a swift 3-2. Oh, dobře přečíst, teď znovu pravý hák. A zalou, tvrdá pravá direkce. And charged in to ram the Slovak into the fence. Což asi není umné, ale i Ilya jednou trefil, ovšem další brada je konec. As soon as the bomb started landing, the opponent saw the blue screen within the opening two minutes. Pavlovich's first clean knockout and the prototype of all his upcoming victories. <laughs> Two months later, Sergei returned to the scene in the Russian promotion Fight Nights. He went up against another Russian prospect, Vladimir Dyneka, with an identical record of 3 to 0. A head to head clash between the two avid finishers simply could not disappoint. Launching a huge overhand right, Pavlovich robbed the adversary of his chin virginity in just 24 seconds. Building on his momentum, in September of 2015, the broad-shouldered bruiser found himself in the cage once again. Sergei's doomed counterpart rushed in swinging. Got his takedown stuffed. And ate a coma toast. As you might expect, the stopwatch didn't go past the one minute mark. In his sixth performance in a span of a year, Pavlovich encountered Ruben Wolf. The German brawler preferred to duke it out on the feet, was remembered for a vicious soccer kick, Oh, it's got to be, that's got to be it. And got the finish in each of his ten triumphs. First submission is out, and he gets it! Nevertheless, Sergei showed who's the boss. And proceeded to expand the highlight reel. Wolf shelled up and struggled to survive, trembling under the blows for two minutes. By the third, he couldn't take it anymore and waved the white flag. Shocked by Pavlovich's speed and pressure, the German capitulated against the fence, becoming the sixth straight first round knockout on the resume. In the summer of 2016, Shaban Ka stood on the other side of the cage. The Frenchman held a win over the Thai boxing world champion, Alexei Kudin, and also dismantled the prominent veteran, Jeff Monson. Solid shots from Shaban coming down, This is going to get stopped. This is getting stopped. It's all right. Here we go. However, a totally different beast was across from him this time. Pavlovich threw a one-two. dynamites in his face. Oh, nice strike. Brushed off the takedown with ease unintentionally hitting the back of his head in the process. Of course, I think that 
the referee allowed the action to continue and the combatants returned to the vertical plane. But so close! Shaban decided to play a high stakes game. Well, as you can see, yeah, that was it. Luck wasn't on his side that night. Whoa! That's a knockout! It's all over! The Frenchman leaned away from the overhand, exposing the vulnerable spot, and crushed on the canvas. Whoa! Soon, Sergei entered the Fight Night's Grand Prix, in which the organization's inaugural heavyweight champion would be crowned. He could have gone the wrestling route against the dangerous Alexei Kudin. Nice take off. <laughs> Excellent takedown by Sergei Pavlovich. But elected to snipe it out from range. Whoa, nice counter punch by Sergei Pavlovich. Yeah, nice connect. Winning a well deserved decision. Let's go. This the final versus the Combat Sambo world champion, Mikhail Makhnatkin, wasn't a cakewalk either. Still, Pavlovich went the whole distance with confidence. Oh. Oh. Capturing the strap in the end. Sergei Pavlovich still unbeaten. Sergei would next defend the throne from Kirill Sidelnikov. Fedor Emelianenko's well respected protege was 11 and 4, kept true to his mentor's signature style and never took disrespect lightly. Like a fireball. I, big right hands, I do not see, not at all. Oh, big right hands, punch, and that's it! They've crossed paths before in combat sambo, with Kirill getting his hand raised. Early into the MMA rematch in November 2017, Sidelnikov's strikes were sharp as usual. <laughs> Having figured out the rival's timing, Pavlovich started catching him regularly <laughs> and unloaded the lethal shot. Sergei reconfirmed that the good old overhand is the king and got the green light from the UFC with an unblemished resume of 12 victories and 9 knockouts. Howbeit, the Russian juggernaut's octagon debut took a sudden turn for the worse. Sergei Pavlovich. The sixth ranked Alistair Overeem withstood the power. Ridiculous. 89 oh. row fights. And entered the clinch with patented knees. The rated ground game. Mm. People forget how many submissions Alistair Overeem The Dutchman then transferred the action to the floor with a gorgeous trip and turned hospitality into hospital for the newcomer. Oh, oh big shot! Pavlovich is covering up! Overeem thinks the finish is here! A big oh. shelling here from Overeem and he gets the finish he's been looking for! The loss to Overeem was followed by a step down in competition, personified by Marcelo Golm. The Brazilian slugger with a 6-2 record promised the fans a flying fist extravaganza. Bring it up. Marcelo was all gung-ho at first. That he has. The big oh. nice counter left. But as soon as a couple hooks found their home, we'll mix in the kicks. Oh. The Latino heat got frozen. Spit go flying at me in there. Oh, good lord, Pavlovich. Wind it up. An avalanche of overhands and an uppercut landed Pavlovich in the division's top 15. This is right uppercut. He's going to dish out those performance checks. Six months later, he shared the octagon with Maurice Green. Ranked 13th at the time, the American had previously performed in kickboxing. Oh, that left hand. And earned a record of 8 to 2 with six finishes since transitioning to MMA. Heavyweight action. Early into the contest, Pavlovich started measuring the big right on the Jolly Green Giant. Oh. The left soon entered the equation. He said, if you're not first, you're last. He's got to be careful. And things escalated quickly. Good job. Oh. This is how things went against Marcelo Gold. Green tries to get out of the way. Oh! Pavlovich raining down the blow to get pulled up. It's win number two for the Russian. An accurate jab with a signature overhand rattled Green, and Sergei would not let him get away. Pavlovich raining down the blow to get pulled up. 
Unfortunate circumstances prevented Pavlovich from entering the title race. A knee injury and visa issues led to two and a half years on the Couch Commando squad. The comeback would take place only in March of 2022 against Shamil Abdurakimov. The 10th ranked heavyweight from Dagestan had won 20 out of 26 outings and was similar to Pavlovich in his approach. He's hurt. They touch him up. Sergei chose a counter-punching strategy at the outset. And we can see why. The man gets his hands going very nicely. Get this further into the fight, and then he does that. I mean, clattered him with that one. Shamil was forced to curb the aggression, and Pavlovich seized the initiative. Oh, come on, Paul. You've got to conquer this. Oh! He detonates that right hand onto the chin of Abzal Rahim. is still there. That's it. Oh, it's a smash and grab. Now and then where there's some controversy, look at this. Almost makes like he's going to throw a traditional scooping uppercut. An unorthodox uppercut caught Abdurakimov by surprise, and the referee had no choice but to intervene. What a ferocious heavyweight we have here. In July of 2022, 30-year-old Pavlovich was placed on a pay-per-view card for the first time to be welcomed by the head of the Ronda Rousey fan club, Derek Lewis. What well, Ronda Rousey fine ass at? Apart from undeniable charisma, the number five ranked Black Beast could boast the record for the most knockout wins in the UFC. Oh, oh, Neither of these bangers were eager to leave it to the judges. Sergey landed the right in the collision Dangerous he is. and spun the deadly windmill immediately. Throws the left hook, grabbing that left, that one here. right. Oh yeah, that was that right hand. I mean, they're just looping. Lewis was hurt badly, fell face first, and tried to convince the referee that he just bent to smell the roses. The home crowd was disappointed with the outcome. Nevertheless, the 55-second knockout was already in the books. Now occupying the fifth spot at heavyweight, Pavlovich agreed to a fun brawl with the number four tie to Avasa. The official Shui aficionado had recently dropped the ball in the title eliminator against Cyril Ghosn. Prior to that, he was riding high on a streak of five knockouts. They began pounding away with punches from the jump. Pavlovich hits like a monster! Oh! Ty got hammered first. Still drunk from the knockdown, Tuivasa stood back up, but not for long. Jab, jab, a jab, jab. Take him down. A 54 second KO and the main event slot in the next outing for the Russian bulldozer. Another Sergei Pavlovich washout. Unbelievable. Pavlovich has the highest ape index in UFC history. Ape index measures your reach relative to your height. Most people have a neutral ratio. Sergei's index is plus 9 inches. By the way, right behind on the list is John Jones with 8.5. Pavlovich is still young for the weight class, occupies the third spot in the rankings, and keeps improving every time he steps into the cage. Good at conquers. Oh! Soon we will find out whether he can capture the title of the baddest man on the planet. Oh. Oh! If you enjoyed this video, land an overhand to the like button, subscribe to the channel, and vote for sport. Give me one good off. Thank you, brother.